Let's get into the next topic, B.A. I want to talk about my Lakers. I want to talk about my Lakers, man. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Got it done <laughs> last night. LeBron and crew up two to one. Yes. What, B.A., let's start here. What have you learned about my team after three games versus the Memphis Grizzlies? I learned that uh, they, they're – they are really good and they can, they, it's a, it's a chance. They have the potential to be, uh, they have a potential to actually make it to the Western conference finals. They have that potential. Um, and man, the role players, as long as the role players continue to do what they do, if they focus more on defense opposed to offense, cause offense is going to come cause they have so many gifted offensive players. If they right. focus and work down on defense, they will, they'll be a one. But when they get to what they did, because they was up by 30 points yesterday, and they let them boys kind of make a little run back for whatever apparent reason because they let the foot off the gas, the same thing they did in game two. They can't do that. They got they got to keep the foot on the gas and defend. But I like them, though. I like the Lakers. Yeah, John Morant went crazy, you know, yesterday. He cool. definitely tried to help spare some type of comeback. It, it just wasn't enough. And we have watched the Lakers play down to the level of competition pretty much all season. And they've always had a problem with holding leads. So you're absolutely right. That's something that they need to focus on. We're going to talk about Memphis in a second. But you brought up the Lakers role players and, and how they had stepped up, being pretty impressive. You know, LeBron – doesn't have to lead this team if these guys play well LeBron yeah. doesn't have to lead this team in my opinion but can he still in in your in your eyes if they really need LeBron to like take the driver's seat for not just one game maybe a series do you think LeBron James still has enough in the tank to get it get it done uh no I I, uh, I think his age um, has caught up with him. And I noticed that I, I've been noticing um, what I've noticed this season is, don't get me wrong, he's still average. He still averaged 30 points a game. But I noticed that like at key moments in games when they need somebody to actually go super crazy, I noticed that he doesn't have that extra gear that he, he, he used to be able to get to to actually uh, affect the whole game. Because he used to like LeBron used to be, he used to be able to influence the entire game. I'm talking about offensive, defensively, etc. Like, have you super scared to do that? Like, I don't know. He just like he could shut down a whole arena and control a whole arena. He doesn't have that anymore. Now, with him specifically, the Lakers don't really go where he goes because he's gonna get what he gets because that's what he does. He, you know, he he passed them stats up, he can score. But Anthony, Anthony Davis, they're going the, – the Lakers are only going to go as far as Anthony Davis takes them. And that's who ha, that's who the team really relies on to me this season. That's who they're going to have to rely on. You know, B.A., respectfully. <laughs> you, <laughs> let me tell you something. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. You have really disrespected LeBron James for the last time on my show. You know, I have allowed this thing to go down for months. And Bro. for you to sit up here with the American public listening in and say that LeBron James is too old. Bro, he doesn't this have is that a guy gear. who we did we not just witness this man surpass Kareem Abdul ball time this same season that we currently yeah. in you forgot but he, he's been in the league for 20 years you, seven I don't know I think it's the I think it's those glasses the shades you got on if you take those shades off when you watch LeBron and why when you watch LeBron play you can tell he doesn't move the same he be getting this shit swatted a lot of his buckets come in garbage time my they come god. in garbage modes my god this is so disrespectful <laughs> he's not doing that He's still You're the gonna third sit up player here of all time, bro. He's still just like the top three all the time. Top three. LeBron still, James is the greatest of all, all time. time you putting Kobe and Michael Jordan over LeBron is blasphemy. Yes. I don't even want to go yes. down that road. This is insane, B.A. He's, You're he's making all, it seem like LeBron offensively have fell off. 
No, I'm saying like he is not what he 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 is not. He doesn't control the game like he used to. He gets buckets, but he gets buckets like his buckets don't really. Most games this season, his buckets didn't contribute to to wins. They didn't. I'm not going to let didn't. you get away with that, ba. He has the greatest basketball IQ in the league. How are you going to say he doesn't impact the game anymore? If you want to say all time, all time, I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about five years ago and beyond or four who's, years ago. Who's smarter than LeBron on the basketball court right now? Bro, Kobe is the GOAT. That's all <laughs> I can say. Kobe is the GOAT. Salute to LeBron. But Kobe is the GOAT. I'm sorry, Seven. Shout out to oh, LeBron. God. Bro, it's been thousands of why so seven. Tell me this. It's been thousands of NBA players, right? Thousands, right? That's ever played, that's ever been able, well, not thousands, but a, a few, few thousand that's ever put on an NBA uniform and played in the NBA game. What's wrong with being number three? What's wrong with being top three, bro? That's incredible. That's incredible. You should be asking yourself that because the guy that you campaigning for, Kobe, at the best, is number yes. three. I mean, you got to put Kobe above Magic and Larry Bird, and you can have that argument. Yeah, My man hey, LeBron is number one if above Kobe uh, and Jordan. You watch see, how he played versus Kobe, bro. bro. How can you even compare? Come on, man. Like, this is what I'm going to say, Seven. This is what Salute I'm to the say. new member, man. Anthony, appreciate you, dog. You already this know, man. Good. Make sure you guys join the membership. We got exclusive content for all members. We got free perks, prizes, and giveaways. We got a lot going on for our new members. So make sure you guys join the membership here at the Best of Seven Sports Talk. Definitely appreciate that. Again, once again, Anth, uh, I apologize for cutting you off, uh, BA. Uh, no, no, you good. Hey, shout out to Ant, the new member. New members, please support, support. Hit that like button. Share this thing 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but uh, it's okay. Like, if, you, if anybody that says Kobe, or MJ is in that top three, even if you do got LeBron as number one, I can't knock it to each his own tomatoes, tomatoes to me, whatever. But it's when you start talking about top 10, top 15, that's when I that's when I trip. But he can be three, you can say three. I mean, he not he not he not number one or number two to me, but he's still number three. That's still pretty big time, bro. I can't, he's big time, bro. I, I really got to talk to the bosses about you, yo. I, I mean, it, 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 it. Okay, well, let, let's go here. The Memphis Grizzlies, you know, we had the situation where John ja Moran here got hurt. You know what I mean? We just talked about his performance uh, yesterday. Um, Dylan Brooks, big topic of discussion. Yeah. With his mouth and his comments versus LeBron James, he got ejected yesterday. He really didn't have that much of an impact in yesterday's game. Memphis is now down two to one. Home court advantage got stolen from him in game one with the loss. W where do you see Memphis going at from here? Like, how do you see Memphis being able to bounce back? Do you see Memphis being able to bounce back? It's it's Memphis is tricky to me with Memphis. They are they they have been the last couple of seasons they've been a really really good organization a really good team specifically, but when John ja Morant with John ja Morant in and out the lineup I feel like it, it it messes up the camaraderie of the squad because if you notice when John ja Morant is not playing right they actually play very well as a unit when John ja Morant is inserted into the lineup after missing however many games or one or two games. That uh, they all say, okay, uh, let, let's depend on Ja. Ja is going to lead the way. And everybody step back and they just stop and they just watch him play and watch him do unbelievable things. And I think that that's an issue that they have. They're going to have to – he had 13 assists and he had 45 points, I believe, 13 and 45, eight rebounds, something crazy. That means that the ball is sticking to his hands and it's not moving like it's supposed to be moving. Because so we're when blaming Jabba Rant for the loss. We're blaming Jabba Rant for Memphis's uh, struggles. And you're saying that they are better yeah. off with Jabba Rant. Is that what this boils down to, BA? I'm saying that they're going to have to figure out a way how to get everybody, like everybody's going to have to be involved offensively opposed to just Jabba Rant. Jabba Rant did his thing and he's an amazing player. But if you notice when he does not play, everybody on the team, the ball moves with energy everywhere. When he gets there, the ball tends to stick. And there's nothing wrong with it because he's a superstar. But 
This is why they have an amazing record when he doesn't play. I just feel like that's cat. You're right. In the regular season, we've seen Memphis be successful without Ja Morant. They've won games. But we're talking about the postseason. Seven-game series. This yeah. whole thing slows down. It becomes more of a half-court game. I'm not sold that that supporting cast of Memphis can beat a powerhouse Western Conference team four out of seven times without Ja Morant. Especially when you got somebody like Dylan Brooks who's more bark than bite. 